in Warframe, sometimes it's necessary to bonk enemies. And there is nothing wrong with that. Especially when DE has provided the perfect weapon for the job, the Sampots. This is one of the 5 Drifter weapons available for use in the Duvery Paradox. But as you may already know, we can also use it in the regular star shot. Players who prefer brute force will get the most out of the sumpots, as both its slam and EV slam have an extended area of effect. Trust me, you'll want to try this hammer and start learning how to slam right away because it's incredibly fun. And if you didn't know already, slamming is actually a meta in Warframe. I did a video about the Predo slamming level cap demo list not long ago. As you can see, this hammer can slam and leave a trail of destruction in front of it or EV slam and implode an entire room of enemies sending them into orbit. There are two instances dealt by the slam attack. Slam direct damage which benefits from a 3x multiplier on hammers and slam radial damage which has damage falloff that diminishes from distance from the point of impact. Although the sampot has a smaller slam radius 8 meters than the other hammers, it's incredibly powerful. As the sampot deals mainly impact damage, I had to mod Varol to match the weaknesses of clone flesh enemies I modded for a single target focused slam build and didn't use any slam mods as they only affect its radial damage. My goal was to one shot Demolist. For my build I used Blood Rush and Gladiator Might for critical chance, Organ Shader for critical multiplier and Condition Overload as we did Primer with the Epitaph. I used Prime Fury for easy combo stacking in between each slam but if you want you can replace it with Seismic Wave. And as we played Kappa on Sedna I modded Prime Smash Grenier. 